is a market statistical analyzer. I'm going to go through all the basic features of this uh, software today. Um, Traditionally, uh, people use the average directional move, move, movement index or the moving average of standard deviation to detect the sideways uh, movement in the financial market. However, um, these indicators are lagging and uh, quite often it's difficult to tell uh, when the sideways movement was started and when it ends. Uh, it's very difficult to get a clear uh, identification of those side sideways movement, especially uh, ADX. Uh, uh, ADX values always going up and down with every candles, every new candles, and it's very difficult to tell uh, where we are in the in terms of a sideways market. And, uh, for standard deviation, they are lagging because of its moving average algorithm, and uh, we all only know after quite. Uh, sometime later, the sideways market is already uh, there. Um, so, to overcome this disadvantage of these uh, uh, traditional uh, technical indicators, I have developed a, a sideways market statistical analyzer, which was inspired from the statistical theory. Uh, so remember, it was designed to detect the sideways movement, just like a human eyes can do. So these uh, detecting algorithms are very close to human eyes. Um, so I'm going to show you how it looks like on your chart. Um, so now we loaded our uh, sideways market statistical analyzer here. And this is how it looks. Um, just zoom out a little bit to show you how does it look like in overall. Right, so I'll explain the anatomy of this uh, graphics to you. Um, basically, the pink boxes are indication of the uh, detected sideways movement. So, and then the gray boxes are the continuation of the sideways movement. But the detected sideways boxes start from uh, this end and finish at this end. So, uh, when we have these pink boxes, we will start to know there is a sideways, sideways movement. And this gray box will continue until we have our next sideways box detected. For example, this is our second sideways boxes uh, detected before the, our first one, and the gray box continues until our first sideways box is detected. And these red lines are on top and on the below uh, of these uh, pink boxes are basically uh, all the trigger line. So basically, when price uh, break out this line, we are supposed to place our uh, buy or sell orders. And these uh, green lines here are basically take profit lines and is only drawn for our first sideways uh, boxes. It's not going to be drawn for uh, other second or third sideways boxes. And if you go indicator list and if you go to properties, and if you go uh, in your box display option, if you go to show take profit line as a false, then you'll remove that take profit lines. And of course, uh, it's better to have a take profit line with you, so I will put the take profit line back. True. Then we'll see the cell uh, take profit lines. So basically, this is uh, the uh, uh, anatomy of these graphics, and uh, as you will see also quite a lot of uh, other labels and arrows. These arrows are the indication of the uh, uh, entry. So this is sell entry, this is buy entry, and then you will see SL as a stop loss, and then take uh, TP as a take profit. So these are basically the virtual uh, trading simulation uh, incorporated in this software for our backtesting purpose. Um, so here are the, our four trading parameters, the so cut probability, box above FIPS, and take profit and run multiplier. These are very important uh, trading parameters. And uh, the concept of cut probability is simple. This cut probability is actually the lowest probability uh, we can qualify for our sideways market. Just to give you some idea, if you go, just imagine that we have a, a drone, uh, nice probability distribution 
of the standard deviation for uh, 20 candlebars. And uh, when we say cut probability, it is actually the minimum uh, probability level. Uh, we will separate between sideways movement and non sideways movement. So uh, the size of standard devi deviation. Uh, toward your left hand side will be a uh, sideways movement and then if the standard deviations are greater than uh, that cut probability uh, standard deviation then it will, will not be qualified for sideways movement so uh, this sideways uh, the cut probability is basically the criteria for uh, detecting the sideways boxes and then as you see here, uh, sideways pip range is basically the height, minimum height of the uh, sideway boxes to be qualified as a sideway movement. So by changing these cut probability values, as you see here, you, you see the sideways pip range is actually changing uh, as well. If you reduce the cut probability, the uh, pip range will be getting smaller. If you increase it, uh, then our pip range will be larger. It means a uh, bigger height will be used to detect our sideways movement. And you see, there is uh, for our four trading parameters, we have uh, the control buttons, and this is very useful. Whenever you click these uh, plus and minus buttons, uh, you will actually change these parameters, and then uh, you will know whether they are tuned or not through our back testing. Um, uh, facilities and this net pip gains here 2000 uh, 20,776 are pips are uh, basically uh, the, our profit we could achieve throughout this 26 uh, weeks period uh, when you trade using these 37 boxes detected and of course this uh, practicing result will be changed when we uh, change our uh, these trading parameters. Um, this uh, red line here are the uh, all the trigger level, and uh, these are uh, controlled by these box buffer pip parameters. Now is set as a zero. That means there is no uh, gap between our sideways boxes and this all the trigger level. But if you increase this box buffer pips uh, like this, you will see there is uh, more and more gaps between the order trigger level and sideway boxes and your order will be placed if the price break out this order trigger level those red lines not these boxes top of the boxes but these red lines and then, as you see uh, by changing this box buffer pips we have a dramatic changes in our backtesting result too and take a profit ratio is easy as you see Take profit ratio is the the ratio of take profit level from our order trigger level to our box height. So, for example, the um, the height from here to here will be 1.3 times greater than our box height. That's take profit ratio. And if we change those, of course, we will have a uh, quite dramatic uh, changes in our backtesting result too. Right? And the uh, lot multiplier is the um, uh, land multiplier is the uh, last size uh, multiplication when we enter re-enter our uh, trade after we made loss trade uh, so if you have a say last size of one and then you you made a stop loss your stop loss was hit then next time you will have a 1.6 times greater last size and you see from here because of a price breakout uh, this red line there was sell position opens uh, I mean this is the virtual uh, position uh, nothing to do with real orders right and you will see there was a stop loss hit and then our stop loss was uh, minus 897 pips and after that uh, because of the price crosses this red line we uh, have another buy position opened and then uh, luckily we got uh, our take profit hit it actually so in that case take profit will be 1.6 times greater than our stop losses because of this large multiplier if you reduce it uh, this will be 1.5 times greater than our stop losses 
and of course your net pit gains will be a little bit smaller than before right so the idea is uh, editing these uh, trading parameters and then you fine tuning these trading parameters using this backtesting uh, machine and then you always trade with the best uh, trading parameters you can and other additional importance is that uh, at the moment the default um, maximum trades per box is a 4 this means we will have a 4 opportunities to trade uh, when there is a new sideways box is detected the rest of the uh, statistics will be a representation of these trading uh, parameters and then you will see how many trades won how many total trade was done and how many loss trade was done and then this net pip gains are the back test result basically uh, we have a uh, Another interesting uh, two buttons on top of trading parameters. Basically, the show hide box box buttons are basically controlling uh, this uh, box appearance of these boxes. When you click once, they will remove all the boxes. When you click once again, they will bring the boxes back. And the save parameters uh, buttons are very important because this will actually save the the parameters you want on the system. So next time you will bring uh, that parameters again when you uh, load your uh, software again on your chart. Let's do some experiment, right? Um, let's say uh, this cut probability 0.17 or probably 0.18, and then you know, this is bad. Uh, okay. Uh, the 1.6 just click save parameters now you will see here uh, the message is saying the saving uh, best parameters of 0.18 uh, for cut probability and the 44 pips for box buffer pips and take profit ratio 1.3 and uh, multiply 1.6 so when you close the your chart and then open the chart again and then when you actually load it again this will bring the uh, same parameter saved as before, right? So, 0.18, 44 pips, and 1.3 and 1.6, right? And if you um, change to another one, say 0.16, 0, and if you save parameters again. And remember 0.16, 0.0, and 1.3, 1.6. Close it again, and if you load it again, then the, we will load this uh, last saved parameters. So I'll tell you, well, uh, basically this software has a very good uh, system saving all the historically uh, experimented parameters, and I'll, I'll tell you where you can find it. Basically, if you go to files, um, opens, basically there are a lot of Excel files created by this software. And because of what we are doing uh, experiment with uh, gold, now you will see uh, SSMA backtesting result for the gold. If you just open here, you will see all the uh, parameters you will play around and re recorded here. Uh, this is this is great because of, uh, if you know how to use Excel, you just basically um, custom sort it according to the uh, pip gains. Then you can always find what was the best parameters you were playing around with. So in this case, 0.16 and 1.3 and 1.6 was the best parameters. Um, it's not on, not only that, and if you go to the um, uh, best parameters dot csv file basically this will uh, record the last last best save uh, last best parameters were saved uh, so if you forget about your best parameters you can always go here and then find the these two files and then you can find the um, actual the best parameters for your trading um, okay um i think um there's quite a lot of information about uh, the basic features of this uh, uh, sideways market statistical analysis. And today, I'm going to leave you here, and the next time I'm going to uh, see you again with another uh, tutorials. Uh, thanks so much for uh, 
uh, listening to my tutorials. Thank you.